I'm back again with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo IdealPad S145 series and at the bottom you can check the exact model with yours. This one is an IdealPad S145-14. That's 14 inch monitor screen. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the RAM for this model. Very easy. Sometimes you get it with a basic 8 gig or 4 gig RAM and people say oh if I go to my task manager I see that it says one out of two DIMMs available that means I can add another uh, RAM DIMM so in this video we're going to cover that so you can clear your mind and see uh, how many RAM DIMM you should buy and what's the capacity of the RAM DIMM you should get all right so let's keep this video short and let's get into it the tool that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set as they have one of the best screwdriver set out there. And they have an S2 class steel, which are really hardened steel, which will last you longer period of the time than comparing to uh, some other brands. You're going to be using Philips number zero from this tool set. Also, you will need to get an opening tool. You can get the pro version of this one. I'll leave the link in the description that they include you a whole bunch of other things, including an opening tool. Or you can just simply grab a metallic guitar pick, which is the same thing as an opening tool with soft edges and really tough to bend. All right, now what, what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip over the laptop, make sure the power is completely off. And we're gonna see a whole bunch of screws down here. And we're gonna remove all the screws and there are two types of screws here, short ones and the medium one. The short screws are the ones in the front end of the laptop, which are four of them. And the mid and towards the back ones, these are the medium sized ones. So try not to mismatch them. They keep the front ends in one pile and the rest in the next pile. Go ahead and remove the screws. Also, I only see that few of my viewers are subscribing to my channel. If you find my videos really helpful and uh, it would be really nice uh, help if you guys could subscribe or click like to my videos. And again, I always try to answer all the questions that you guys have and take requests from my subscribers. So if you just want to help out, just click like and subscribe. I appreciate it. All right. There you have it. Now we have two piles, the medium ones and the short ones. Now what we're going to do, we're going to grab our opening tool and we're going to open up the laptop a little bit and we're going to stick the opening tool between the bottom and the top cover, just straight down like that. I don't know if he's going to focus on it or not. There. I put my finger here. There. Now what I'm going to do, I just want to twist it so I can just peel them off. So go all around in the front. Oh, you see this one is already coming out. Do the same thing to the side. Work yourself to the far back corners. We're gonna close it down a little bit. Do this corner. And there, it's almost done now. You can work a little around and it will come out pretty easy. So this is the bottom chassis, bottom cover. And down here we can see the whole inside of the laptop the hard drive the battery and obviously the ram right over here to upgrade the ram you do not need to remove the battery or disconnect the battery is absolutely not necessary you can just remove the ram as many times you want and pop it back in the hard drive without removing the battery but if you want to be paranoid and you want to be let's call it in a safe side you can just uh, pull these cables back for so the jack gets disconnected so you don't have much room to work in there so let me see if I grab a tiny pliers here so I'm gonna pull these cables back and the jack will get loose All right if you want to but you don't have to if you don't want to the RAM is right in here there's only one RAM DIMM available so if the system windows always say two RAM slot it will not give you one ram dim slot available 
so it's pretty much detecting this empty spot right here or even if you don't have this spot it's gonna detect as a one ram dim in some of these versions they include you with a ram chip soldered on the board here so you will have four gig here and you will have an empty ram dim available here to add extra ram all right but in this case there's no onboard ram so the only ram that you have is a four gig ddr4 ram here so in order to upgrade you can go with an 8 gig or you can put a 16 gig ram dim in here so but you have to remove this one to remove the ram dim is really easy all you have to do is pull these two triggers apart so grab from the sides and pull them apart and the ram will come out in 45 degree angle you don't want to yank it upward because otherwise you're going to break the dim or the ram you want to pull it out in the same direction that it came out in a 45 deg degrees so put it back down make sure the notch on the ram has to match the notch right on the ram dim so if you try to put it the other way around the notch is not going to match and it's not it's going to be impossible to put it in there so all you need to do in 45 degree angle make sure the notch matches push it towards the ram dim don't be scared of touching this one so i'm not even grounding myself or anything Grab it, push it nicely in, and push it towards the motherboard. Make sure you hit those two clicks going in. If it, yours is not pushed in all the way in, let's say halfway through, it's going to be really hard to push it towards the motherboard, and the clips are not going to lock in. So as long as you push it all the way through the dim, towards the motherboard, and you see these two clips are straight, that means you are all set. Let's say that you put an 8 gig or 16 gig right there, and next step is to slide back in the power jack that you removed for the battery now remember once you power it on you have to wait 5 to 10 seconds for the bias to detect a new ram and get adjusted to it so don't panic if it takes about a few seconds to boot up that's going to be initial boot then it's going to detect and it's going to work normally and the last thing would be to grab the bottom cover bring it over and just push down the corners make sure you hear those clicks on the front and if you see any gap opening just grab it with two fingers and just pinch them together and that will be all and the last thing would be to putting back the bottom cover remember the longest screws go from the hinge to hinge from the mid to mid and the short ones goes in the front end of the laptop and again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to upgrade your ram for your laptop and if it did click that like button also think about subscribing it really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys and again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video i'm just gonna finish up putting the screws back in all right there we go